and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Ria Varsami and I'm a Samanic Astrologer. Today I will be sharing with you astrological information about the upcoming full moon and lunar eclipse that is happening in Scorpio on the 5th of May. And this is a very, very powerful day that you will remember for a while. <laughs> and I will explain to you for how many reasons this full moon is a very important and powerful one for all of us and we really have to take advantage of this energy for a high good and path. So first of all, if you are not a subscriber to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can support my work so I can continue making uh, videos. So first of all, I want you to uh, remember that uh, the eclipse season started with a new moon uh, on the 20th of April, we had a new moon in the last degrees of Aries, that's where the eclipse season started. And now uh, that you are watching the video, we're in between the solar eclipse that happened with the new moon and the lunar eclipse that is coming on the 5th. So we're in between uh, the old and the new. You might find yourself a lot of patterns from the past, a lot of uh, <clears throat> behaviors, also a lot of people coming from the past to really trigger these things that are still holding space in your emotional uh, body or your energetic body or in your mental body and you have to release in order to advance on your path. Together with this, in between two eclipses, we have also Mercury retrograde in Taurus. So Mercury uh, went retrograde straight after the new moon in Aries, the 21st of April, and is retrograde in Taurus is telling us to slow down. Taurus is a slow energy, slow down, reflect, and really uh, questions about security, about stability arising. What gives us this sense uh, of having stability and security in our life? Uh, it's a lot of things regarding the material needs because Taurus is very much connected with our material needs. Uh, and in general, Taurus is connected with the physical world. That's why it's representing also the earth. Uh, so it's not, not a time now to rush to something. It's a time to really step back and reflect and see how you operated in the past, see past experiences and try to understand and see if this way serves you or you want to implement a new way. So that's all the retrograde uh, works together with the eclipse energy and that can feel very, very intense. And I'm sure you guys already feel this intensity uh, because as I said, we might feel we are uh, two people almost this polarity like of the old and the new and uh, uh, it's all coming together like uh, one hour you feel like you're on the new self and then one other time you feel you're in the old self and this is because this full moon and lunar eclipse are very very cleansing so to explain you why it's so important and why cleansing i will start talking to you about the lunar nodes so the lunar nodes change signs every 18 months so the last time we had a change in the lunar nodes was on the 18th of January 2022. So that, that's when we had uh, the nodes moving in the North Node in Taurus and the South in Scorpio. That's exactly where we're still now. So now until the 12th of July, the nodes will stay there. So the South Node is in Scorpio, in the first degrees of Scorpio, and it's just doing the last cleansing before it's gonna shift and move into Libra the 12th of July and the North Node is going to move into Aries. So Scorpio energy is very deep, it's very intense, it's very much connected with karma. So when we have the, uh, the South Node in Scorpio, I said already many times, this is a time collectively we're cleansing karma and all energies. So when we have this lunar eclipse now in the heart of Scorpio, in 15 degrees of Scorpio, and it's the last push that we have from the nodes as well. Like this is your time to cleanse everything that is remaining and doesn't belong to you. Whatever is not belonging to the person you are becoming, that's all old energy. And also in addition to this, if you remember guys, we had um, a total lunar eclipse on the, oh, sorry, on the 16th of May, 2022. So these two lunar eclipses work together. So the lunar nodes change signs the 18th of January. And then you, if you remember, we had the eclipse season. And on the 16th of May, we had a total lunar eclipse in Scorpio in the 25 degrees of Scorpio. So whatever was happening in your life, the 16th of May, 2022, uh, you went through a lot of cleansing, through a lot of karmic cleansing, through a lot of um, transformation during this period. Now it's actually the remainings of this transformation, the remaining of this cleansing for you to really be able to step into the new cycle that the lunar nodes are starting the 12th of July. 
So this is, uh, that's why I keep saying it's a very intense because yeah, it's been a year already. We have been working, we have been cleansing, we have been uh, transforming. Uh, whatever themes this uh, total lunar eclipse activated on the 6th of May 2022 and now is like the, the, the peak, like the, the last uh, big massive like cleansing of whatever is, doesn't serve us anymore to go to the new phase. And of course, when the lunar nodes will uh, start a new phase on the 12th of July, it's going to be completely new cycle because the north node is going to be into Aries and Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. So I will make another video for this, of course. But we are preparing for the new path. That is my point. We are all collectively preparing for a new path. That's why we're, it's such a cleansing now. It's so deep and a lot of shadows are coming. So Scorpio is a very interesting energy. In a shamanic astrology, it's connecting with the archetype of the magician. So Scorpio holds all the power, has the power, uh, is connected with sexuality. It's also very deep and very intense energy. So in astrology, the archetype, let's say each archetype has to find also the balance in between the light and the shadow. So the Scorpio has the, the, st the strongest, like let's say the power from the other side has the deepest shadow. So in order to be in their power, in, in its power, it has to work with the shadows. And that's what we are called to do during this period. We are really called to work with our shadows and take our power back, take our power back from people, from situations, um, from trauma, from childhood, from other past lives, whatever we, wherever we have to take our power back. So that's why it feels very intense. And it's also this full moon happens exactly in the heart of Scorpio, like 15 degrees of Scorpio. Um, Sorry, I'm touching the microphone. In addition to this, uh, this full moon is happening on the 5th of the 5th, which is in numerology an interesting uh, number. Number 5 talks a lot about change and transformation. So also it's another confirmation from the cosmos that this is a time for change and transformation. Uh, it's considered like a day that is a portal for change, for transformation, the 5th of the 5th. Uh, now the ruler of this uh, full moon event uh, is Mars, the ancient ruler of, uh, of Scorpio. And Mars is in 20, 10 to 1 degrees of Cancer. And Mars wants us to take action based on our heart, based on how we feel, not based on our mind. And of course, uh, the Moon is uh, doing a lot of oppositions with different planets. Of course, it's doing opposition with the Sun in Taurus because they're always opposite on a full Moon. Is doing an opposition with Uranus, the planet of change and awakening and freedom. And also it's doing an opposition with Mercury, the planet of communication and how we think that is in retrograde. So all this energy talks a lot about uh, our emotions, our feeling and VS our mind. So this whole full moon is all about cleansing our deepest shadows that, uh, that stop us from being our path and really act through our feeling. Is that feeling good or is it your mind telling you that this is good for you? So whatever you want, you have to decide, wherever you have to go, whatever action you have to take, just sit with it and see how does it feel. This is the key during this eclipse period. Go with the feeling. Don't go with the mind. <laughs> the mind is like uh, very much programmed and very much influenced from other energies. So the feeling is the clearest guidance and information you can always receive. And also the moon is trining Mars, a very harmonious aspect, giving like these and let this energy to flow, leave it like, uh, <laughs> how to say, gives this like um, a beautiful um, openness towards this energy. And of course, cancer energy is ruled by the moon and the moon is the heart as well. So it's all about to really connect with that, connect with the heart, connect with the feeling. So if you feel uh, confused or furious or a lot of emotions arising during this period that is very normal with eclipse, just sit down and see the action that you want to take. How does it feel? Decide out of the feeling, not from the mind. The mind can tell you, oh no, you cannot do this because of that, 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 <laughs> etc. So that's all I want to share with you overall. I, I wish you guys really take advantage of this energy to sit with yourself, see whatever stops you from moving on your path, face the deepest shadows because this kind of alignment brings out our deepest shadows. And I know it's not very easy, <laughs> but uh, we have to face them to move on. Um, and of course, if you want to work one-to-one -one with me, I offer a 30-minute full moon reading 
in which we will go exactly, uh, you will know exactly how this full moon lunar eclipse is affecting you, which area of your life, and also is including a transit, a transit chart in which we will be looking exactly what cycles are you going through now to give you more clarity of where you are now uh, on your path. So thank you so much for listening. I wish you all a beautiful uh, lunar eclipse and full moon in Scorpio and see you very soon. Bye for now.